Welcome back. The Northern Rio Grande National Heritage Area is hosting its first annual Cultures and Creators Visual Arts Festival. This festival is a way to celebrate the rich culture and heritage of the area and fosters the participation and support of local artists. This morning we are joined by Executive Director of the Northern Rio Grande National Heritage Area, Eric Vasquez, who is going to tell us a little more. Good morning, Eric. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Now, tell us a little bit about the National Heritage Area and what it means to New Mexico. Absolutely. So, I'm with the Northern Rio Grande National Heritage Area. National Heritage Areas are created by Congress, mm -hmm. uh, but they are run locally. So we are a 501c3, which established our own mission. There are now 62 National Heritage Areas throughout the United States. We are the only one in New Mexico with a mission to protect, preserve, and sustain the cultures and traditions of New Mexico that make this state so unique and special. And you guys have a grant program and it helps local businesses in we the do. area, small we businesses. Do. Tell us a little bit about how that works. So our mission there is to protect and preserve the cultures and promote thing, uh, things that are sustaining New Mexico's cultural values in life and economic development. Mm -hmm. So every year we have an annual grant cycle where we award up to $100,000 uh, for projects. And so we receive a number of applicants our grant cycle just closed last Friday, okay. but it's going to be open again next year. Uh, and it, we sent, put a lot of money out into the community to sustain projects. Like we have helped with a building restoration in Taos for a traditional adobe building. We've helped with music productions. Uh, we're doing a project right now where there's an education organization teaching what are called remedios, or traditional herbs and practices sure. to, to children to teach them how to use these old practices. And Very so we've cool. done a variety of different things like that. Now, Eric, what are some of the requirements and qualifications that a small business needs in order to qualify for the grant? So it isn't only small business. It can be a nonprofit organization, can okay. be a community organization. We've even given to local governments. Okay. So the primary thing is they just contact our office at 505-753-7273. Talk with our grants program manager. He can walk you through the steps. He, he will help, he'll hold your hand through the entire process. It does require that there is a, a match, but it doesn't have to be a dollar match. It can be in-kind match, like hours worked. We quantify that as well. Okay, and, and when we came back from break, we talked a little bit about a first of its kind event that you guys are going to yes. be hosting this weekend. Tell us a little bit about the cultures and creativities uh, aspect of that. Yeah, event. so as we said, one of our focuses is to preserve and promote the culture and create economic vitality around that, you know, growing a strong economy that's based on our strengths, which is our culture. Mm -hmm. And so we are holding at the Los Luceros Historic Site, which is between Taos and Española, a two-day art show starting this Saturday and Sunday called the Cultures and Creators uh, Visual Art Festival. We will have artists representing the traditional Spanish market artists or Hispano artists in the region. We have some amazing, some of the best artists in New Mexico showing there. And we have representatives from nine different tribes in New Mexico also showing their wares from pottery to beadwork to bows and arrows and drums, a, a, a huge variety of pieces. And it, it is some s stellar pieces. I'm so excited about what's going on there right now. And it's running this uh, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And we also have a harvest festival with the state happening on Sunday as well. Beautiful area, beautiful art, something for everyone to look forward to Absolutely. this weekend. Eric, where can we go for more information? You can go to the culturesandcreators.com. Okay. It is our website just for this event. The site is at the historic Los Luceros property that's run by the state of New Mexico that we are working with them on this project. Perfect. Thanks again, Eric, so much for being here this Thank morning. You.